19-year-old woman whose arm was paralyzed in a horrible accident is able to move it again thanks to a remarkable cutting-edge surgery. The rare nerve transplant was done in May, and now she's almost back to full mobility. CBS 2's Amy Stone has this success story. For Melissa Gomez, being able to hug her mother means more than you can imagine. I'm very amazed at how far it's come along in just five months. Two-handed hugs and a host of other everyday tasks used to be impossible. Nearly a year ago, the 19-year-old almost died in a car accident. I had a broken jaw, broken neck, collapsed lung, two broken ribs. While her recovery was remarkable, Melissa also suffered paralysis in her left arm because of severed nerves. She was incapable of doing anything. She was just like taking care of a newborn baby again. Five months ago, Melissa had nerve transplant surgery performed by Dr. Andrew Elkwood at Monmouth Medical Center. I can't hold a glass. I can't like buy my own pants or do my own hair. In a rare six-hour surgery, the reconstructive surgeon took nerves from Melissa's father, Victor, and transplanted them into her arm. I was just like... Okay, yeah, he's going to take a nerve from another part and going to make my arm work. Okay, yeah. Send it up, twist it in. I am completely blown away. Uh, I was expecting or hoping that Melissa would gain a good helper hand. Thanks to immunosuppressant drugs and plenty of physical therapy, her left arm and hand are almost fully functional. I didn't think I would ever be able to move my hands or hold a glass or hold my purse, hold the phone or type on the keyboard. Dr. Elkwood says this breakthrough procedure is not only beneficial to trauma patients, but to cancer and stroke sufferers who may have lost movement in their face, arms, and legs. One of the keys is to catch the patients early. Uh, the results should be much better if you can catch the patient before a year. I wake up every morning, I'm like, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Amy Stone, CBS 2 News.